A lot of students think that the one way to get at the highest possible score in IELTS Writing Task 2 is to use fancy, high-level grammar. But there's another way to think about getting a high score that a lot of teachers don't talk about. It's all about extending and supporting your ideas. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do it. So, on your IELTS test, you're required to extend and support your ideas in order to get a 7 or higher in task achievement. And this part can be quite hard for some students. But I think that with a little practice, you can really master this. And it all starts with understanding the IELTS Writing Task 2 marking criteria. Looking a little more carefully at the marking criteria, we can see that for a 6 in task achievement, They'll say things like, conclusions are repetitive, or ideas inadequately developed. For coherence, arranges ideas coherently, okay, that's good, but there may be faulty or mechanical use of linking words. And finally, there's a mix of simple and complex sentences, but there's more frequent errors. Now, for a 7, conclusions are clear, and ideas are extended and developed adequately. For coherence, yes, clearly and logically organized ideas. There is a clear progression from one idea to the next, and there's a range of cohesive devices. And finally, for grammar, they mention variety of grammatical structures with less frequent errors. Now, to focus on this part of the marking criteria, we're going to focus on one simple aspect of critical thinking, cause and effect. Cause and effect can be exemplified with an easy personal example. I was hungry, so I ate. <laughs> so in that phrase, I ate, and why? Because I was hungry. Being hungry was the cause, and the effect was I ate. Let's think of a more global example. People want to earn more money, so they work hard. Great. Now, they work hard, so, what is the effect of working hard? Well, there could be quite a few. Some could be bad, some could be good. For instance, I could work hard and I become rich. Or I work hard and I get promoted, I earn more money, and I become richer. Great! However, some of you might have had other ideas. I work hard and I don't have enough time for my family. Or I work hard so I don't take care of my health, or I get too stressed or depressed. Or, I work so hard that I don't sleep enough and I end up in the hospital. Interesting, huh? Did you have any of these ideas? Everyone is going to have different ideas and different responses to a cause. You all have different ideas about effect. This is natural, and if you train yourself to think of these ideas, you'll have more opportunities to extend ideas in your IELTS writing test. Let's have a look at a quick example of how this works in writing. But just before we do, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We release videos not just on IELTS writing, but also listening, speaking, and reading too. Here's a sentence that you might use in IELTS writing. Many people do not learn how to cook. As a result, they rely on eating fast food. So, we have a first idea. Many people do not learn how to cook. And then I've directly connected that to an effect. As a result, they eat fast food. Great. So for task achievement and coherence and cohesion, I'm good. And the grammar is fine. There are more things we can do. Let's take a closer look. Many people do not learn how to cook. This has resulted in them relying on fast food. So now we have two very different options. Both do the same thing, but the second one is arguably more complex. Resulted in plus a noun phrase. Great, but we can do more. Many people do not learn how to cook, which has resulted in them relying on fast food. Here, I've removed the full stop and this, and replaced it with a comma and which. Watch out for the full stop this and comma which. Now, if you're aiming for a 6.5 or 7, this is great. 
These three are going to help you and you've got enough to show some range. This next one is arguably more advanced. It's got slightly fewer words, it makes the writing a little tighter, and it's a less common grammatical structure. Many people do not learn how to cook, comma, resulting in them relying on fast food. So here I've taken this has resulted in and condensed it down to resulting in. Now, there are a number of other verb forms you can use. Let's have a look. Many people do not learn how to cook. This has led to them relying on fast food. So I've used led to instead of resulting in. And I can even add more to this. Many people do not learn how to cook. This has led to them relying on fast food, comma, which in turn has resulted in a higher rate of obesity and poor health. So here I've added two effects. Now, you don't have to do this and definitely don't overdo it, but it shows you the flexibility of the grammar as long as you practice extending and supporting ideas. Now, of course, at this point, someone might say, but I don't have ideas, or how do you have all these ideas in your head? There really only are two things you can do for this, read more and listen more. The more you read and listen, the more ideas you're going to have in your head. So if you read the health section of your local newspaper in English or your native language, these ideas will be there. And over time, you'll absorb them, make them internalized, and you'll just know them. Let's have a quick look at an IELTS essay and see how we can use some of these ideas. Let's start with the question. So this question starts like all IELTS questions. You have some instructions. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. And then we get the question. The cost of flying has decreased significantly over the last decade. This has made overseas travel much more accessible. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of this trend. You need to write 250 words in this assessment. So, as you know, we need to start with an introduction that clearly states our position. Let's take a quick look. Today, traveling has become a very common activity for many people. Fortunately, the cost of flying has become significantly cheaper over the past 10 years. However, even though it is likely to be admired by most people, especially those who love to travel, it still offers some drawbacks. This essay will talk about the upsides and downsides of cheaper traveling by plane. Great. Clear beginning to the essay, clear response to the question prompt, maybe a little bit longer, but it does the job. Let's take a look at the first paragraph. Cheaper airline tickets allow more people to fly overseas and visit countries they have never been to. It also benefits people that are required to travel for their job, and I'm going to stop here. So this paragraph isn't bad. I've already fixed some of the grammar errors, and I've shortened a few of the sentences that were unnecessarily long. The grammar is generally good, and the ideas are fine, but they have jammed three different ideas into the one paragraph, and they haven't really justified or supported any of these ideas. And while the grammar is now correct, it's not very complex. And for a seven in grammar, you definitely need more complexity and you need to extend your ideas. So let's see what we can do to improve the grammar complexity and extending of ideas in this paragraph. Let's start with the first point. Cheaper airline tickets allow more people to fly overseas and visit countries they have never been to. As a result, they will have a wider range of experiences. This may lead to new ideas for businesses or a greater feeling of fulfillment. Great, now I've extended the idea, I've linked with as a result and this may lead to, and while it's good, it's not great for complexity. Let's see if we can improve it. Cheaper airline tickets allow more people to fly overseas and visit countries they have never been to. As a result, they will have a wider range of experiences, which may lead to new ideas for businesses or a greater feeling of fulfillment. And we can look at the final one. Cheaper airline tickets allow more people to fly overseas. As a result, they will have a wider range of experiences, 
possibly leading to new ideas for businesses or a greater feeling of fulfillment. So, we can make this a complex sentence by changing full stop this to comma which, or comma and a participle clause. Then we can move on and add another idea. It also benefits people that are required to travel for their job, and also for people that made a career out of traveling, such as travel vloggers, full-time adventurers, photographers, and filmmakers. Now, this is fine by itself, but we could add a bit more allowing them to save money and potentially create more value for their business or fans. Wonderful. So let's take a closer look at the grammar. So, as a result, is more than enough. This shows the connection between the previous sentence and the upcoming sentence. This is just as effective for task achievement and coherence and cohesion as any of the other more advanced ones. These more advanced ones add flexibility to your writing, you can talk about past, present, or future very clearly. With these forms, this can lead to, this has led to, or this could lead to. As I mentioned, you could also use comma which. And be very mindful of this. Full stop this or comma which, for full possible marks, this is important. You need to get those correct. For more advanced forms, there are participle clauses such as comma leading to. You can also use result in in place of lead to, so imagine you describe two different effects in your essay. You can use both of these forms. Maybe one is which can lead to, and the other one is this can result in. You would have just used two different grammatical structures with different words. But in both cases, you've extended and supported your idea. Then for some slightly less common phrases, you can see these ones here. This allows, or this can help, or this makes. So now that you understand a little bit about how this technique of extending ideas works, I just want to mention that if you're interested in testing it out, a great place to do that is at E2. We have IELTS writing assessments that you can submit here on our platform, and you'll get feedback within 48 hours. So it's a great way to try this technique out. Writing assessments are available in a range of E2 packages. Let's take a look at another sample paragraph. Conversely, while it is common for most people to think that making flying cheaper would be beneficial for all of humanity, this notion is not entirely accurate. More affordable flights would obviously lead to more flights, causing more pollution as most if not all, airplanes and jets today are still powered by combustion engines that need gas to operate. Our resources of oil are not renewable and sustainable, creating huge amounts of air pollution when used to run massive jet engines. The more common air travel is, the more potential there is for damage. So in this one, can you see the more advanced form of a participle clause? Yes, here creating huge amounts of air pollution. So, if you're aiming for a higher score, like an 8, you'll need this level of flexibility and instinct in your writing, and you will need to read more to develop that instinct. Otherwise, you might want to stick to as a result, or this may lead to. Be sure that when you're practicing for IELTS that you're not just trying to come up with an answer as fast as possible, but that you're practicing developing, extending, and linking ideas in a meaningful way. What is the effect? Effect, effect, effect. Remember, if you extend your ideas, you increase your task achievement score. And if you do it well, you also increase your coherence and cohesion score and your grammar score. Now, before we finish, a few things to remember. One, practice and get feedback. It's really easy to watch this video and go, okay, I understand. <laughs> Understanding is easy. Doing it on test day, that needs to be a habit. Practice the techniques, get feedback, and practice more. It really is the best way to improve. Remember, you can get feedback on your writing at E2 Test Prep. Second, remember, don't overdo it. There are other ways to extend ideas, but I'd say this is the first one to practice and internalize. Third, widen your grammatical and lexical range. 
The more you read, the easier it will be to express effect. In this video, we looked at just a few techniques, and there are plenty more. As someone who reads a lot and has done some writing for magazines and newspapers, I can very quickly pull up a range of sentence structures and words to very precisely express what I want to say. If you're aiming for a higher score, like a 7.5 or 8, you really need to have strong reading habits. But finally, remember, you don't have to use this specific technique. This is just one way to extend ideas, but I do think it is a very straightforward way. So please don't run to your teachers and say, I heard you have to talk about effect. There is no criteria in the band descriptors that says you have to do this. It is just one of many techniques. I'm Mark. I hope that's been helpful. I'll see you next time.